Greetings, judges and fellow students. My name is Rida and I will be representing MCKK for your topic of biodiversity. Now let us start with a brief tale of two tigers. The first tale is that of the Caspian tiger. Located somewhere in the Caspian region stretching from Turkey to the Caucasus, the Caspian tiger was a fearsome creature immortalized in history and folklore of the ancient region renowned for numerous civilizations. The Caspian tiger looks similar to our own Malian tiger but was distinct for its immense size and powerful legs. It was a fearsome beast and considered among the largest of the tiger species. Further south, 13,000 kilometers away from the Caspian region, on an island in the southern hemisphere, was a home of another predator called the thylacine, otherwise popularly known as the Tasmanian tiger. It was not, however, the tiger species. It was a carnivorous marsupial, more closely related to a kangaroo. It was, however, wrongly described as a, as a tiger due to its distinct stripes. It was an amazing creature who would carry his young in a pouch and would hop around on his two hind legs like a kangaroo. The Tasmanian tiger suffered the same fate as the Caspian tiger only much earlier. Its last known sighting was in the 1930s. Both species are officially extinct and have disappeared forever from the face of this planet. Hunted down to extinction by humans, these mammals are only two out of over 500 species which have gone extinct in the last 100 years due to human activity and urbanization. This little tale of two tigers is to show you that our planet's biodiversity is under grave threat. No matter where on the planet, the northern or the southern hemisphere, our planet's biodiversity is disappearing. According to certain studies, in the foreseeable future, up to 2 million species of plants and animals will go the way of the Caspian and Tasmanian tiger. Extinct. So what is biodiversity? In general, biodiversity refers to the variety of living things on our planet, including plants, animals, even microorganisms. Our Earth's biodiversity has millions of species ranging from the rare deep-sea firework jellyfish to the common oak tree. But even though there are so many new species being discovered, there are just as many going extinct. There are a total of four characteristics of biodiversity. Species diversity, ecosystem diversity, functional diversity, and genetic diversity. Species diversity is the different species represented in a certain community. Ecosystem diversity is the variation of ecosystems within a geographical location. Functional diversity is the range of different things organisms do within a community. And genetic diversity is the variety of different genetic makeups in a certain species. In this video, we are going to talk about three topics essential to the preservation of wildlife and biodiversity. First, the unsolved problems that make one's flourishing species endangered. Next, the importance of preserving wildlife. And lastly, the solutions that will hopefully solve these problems. The Oxford Dictionary says, that to preserve is to maintain something in its existing or original state. What does wildlife preservation truly mean? Wildlife preservation is to restore and preserve ecosystems, plants, and animals that can be found all around the world. The most prominent threat to biodiversity on Earth is habitat loss. Deforestation, pollution, and fragmentation have been identified as a main threat to 85% of all species in IUCN's red list. Another big issue that has caused the extinction of the dodo bird, the Tasmanian tiger, and many more 
is indiscriminate hunting. This is where an entire species could be hunted down to extinction, usually by poachers, to sell their valuable animal parts for really high prices. The final major threat is infectious diseases. A good example of this would be the chytrid fungus. It actually originates from Asia, but was introduced to America due to pet trades in the 1970s. It is now one of the biggest threats to amphibians there. So how exactly do we solve this? Fortunately for us, there are the efforts being done all around the world that we can do too. First, stop purchasing products made from endangered animals and their parts. Next, protect public lands and wildlife sanctuaries. We can also create campaigns to raise awareness about the importance of our biodiversity and teach people how to properly preserve it. More and more unique, beautiful plants and animals are going extinct every year due to human activities. In the wise words of Paul Oxton, founder of Wild Heart Wildlife Foundation in South Africa, humanity can no longer stand by in silence while our wildlife are being used, abused, and exploited. It is time we all stand together to be the voice of the voiceless before it is too late. Extinction means forever.